Mayanke Research's Lincoln campus was the site for our recent pest surveillance and detection research workshop and a follow-up practical camera trap workshop was held at Lincoln University. It proved a highly popular event with more than 80 participants from more than 20 organisations including councils, universities, community conservation groups, the Department of Conservation and other land managers. It was a follow-up to the Pest Summit held last year and was focused on research challenges leading into the National Science Challenges. The idea was to highlight topics of interest grouped around four themes – eradication and suppression, detection theory, high-tech detection technologies and finally stakeholder needs and citizen science. <laughs> the first range of presenters covered a selection of topics within each of the themes. Then there were breakout discussions and prioritisation of the research ideas. The feedback from the two-day event, all positive. The last two days have just been wonderful to have such a large group of people which made up of scientists, community group members and regional councils. It was amazing to see the enthusiasm showed by everybody about just trying to find out what new technology is out there, how people are doing things and where we need to go in the next direction. I, it was great. It's one of the best workshops I've ever been to. Really good, and why I say that. Um, part of this, uh, the last couple of days has had a really good focus around um, this concept of predator-free New Zealand and the vision. Now that's a pretty aspirational, pretty challenging vision. Um, but ultimately New Zealand, we're world leaders in this stuff basically, and so um, we've got a chance to connect the research, our community uh, work which we're doing, and the large amount of work that's already ongoing, in a way which actually does deliver on the vision. And this, what was good for me, is uh, we saw a whole bunch of topics uh, spanning current science that's being done, uh, spanning some slightly new stuff, um, but also some really, um, some really almost left field things which we need to think about if we're going to change the game. So that's, that's why I enjoyed it, basically. Yeah, really good. And here to offer an Australian perspective, one of their leading exponents of camera traps. Yeah, look, I think, I think everybody knows that um, you know, the Kiwis and the Australians are an innovative mob and, um, and we take up uh, new technology rapidly and that's definitely been the case with camera trapping and other other forms of technology and certainly um, I think some of the things that we've been doing over the last five or ten years um, are going to be very helpful for, for uh, New Zealand uh, wildlife management and research and I think likewise some of the areas that you guys have branched off into because of your needs are going to be um, uh, very useful for us as well so there's some great opportunities for uh, Oceania collaboration if you like to uh, fast track some of these areas of, of research and monitoring and management. And for Landcare Research as organisers and key research leaders, many fresh insights into developing new tools in the toolbox for fighting pests. And some really novel and out there ideas like using bees to detect um, odours of pest animals in the environment, uh, right through to sort of the more theoretical end. How do you know uh, when you've got no more pest animals in an area and you can de declare success uh, either in terms of suppression, large scale suppression or eradication of the species from a place like Banks Peninsula or Northland or Stewart Island or wherever. Such was its popularity, it's likely this event will be repeated next year.